Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, I've got the gunslinger spawn with his horse. Let's open him up, check him out. Gunslinger spawn. Um, I actually have a gunslinger figure. But uh, the horse, oh, I've got ideas for this horse. Uh, this is a really, really just cool, cool set. Uh, check it out right there in the box. Very, very nice. Got some side art looking wickedly cool. But the back art, look at that. That is so cool. Such a cool, oh, man. The graphics very cool got some side right there but uh yeah um tons of accessories come with this thing i do have some observations uh but i don't know yet until i actually get it out of the box um so yeah i may have i may i may have a negative thing i don't know yet but uh yeah we gotta get him out of the box Got to get him out of the box. Uh, say, get this thing open here. Yes. And I actually just stumbled across this figure. Um, you know, I wasn't even filming a, a toy hunt or anything uh, when I saw it. And I just like, yeah, no brainer. And the only reason, and here's the thing, it's a no-brainer because of the ideal that instantaneously hit me when I saw it. So, uh, yeah, let's see here. Boy, cut this, because it looks like we got a little bit of a, a possibility of a uh, cool little dio. Or not a dio, but a backdrop. How is this thing on here? Ah, I see how it is. Uh, anywho, there it is in the clamshell. So I tell you what, the clamshell actually goes through the back of the uh, dio. Let me get all that cut out. We'll get all the figures and accessories and everything out. We'll come back and we'll take a closer look at this amazing figure. All right, guys. So here's the thing. I was going to do a top down on this, but... Uh, I completely just like, you know what? No, <laughs> we're, we're doing this for right here because uh, this is a really cool two pack. And yes, I'm calling it a two pack because it's got two figures. It's got Gunslinger and his horse, which the horse, I don't know if it has a name or not because there's no name on the box. Um, comes with tons of accessories. Uh, first and foremost, we got the rifle right here. Very, very cool. Uh, lots of good color, detail. There's a real nice little uh, uh, detail right here on the, the butt on both sides. Uh, it's, a, it's a little, you know, it's a little little, little flimsy, but that's, that's okay. That's okay. We're, we're good with that. We're, we're perfectly fine with that. Uh, but it looks good. Got a really nice wood grain uh, texture to it. So, uh, yeah, the rifle looks awesome. Uh, he also comes with a pair of pistols right here. And again, these pistols actually have a very nice detail on the grip right there. Nice looking. Um, so, yeah, it's got some nice detail here on the top. But uh, very, very well detailed. But, uh, yeah, we got a, a pair of those. And he also comes with this wickedly cool Gatling gun right here. Um, got a big steampunk look to it, uh, which I really dig. Lots of detail right here on the mag uh, the drum back here. We've got a skull on the back, a skull on the front. Uh, just an amazing amount of just detail to it. Got some little skull right there on both sides. Uh, but yeah, I will say this on mine. It's a little weird on the barrels, like there's like little, looks like bullets right here, and then it empties out. So it's almost like it's simulating 
bullets maybe coming out. I, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's a little, uh, it's a little strange. Yeah, it's a little strange. We'll, we'll leave it at that. It's a little strange. Uh, the figure itself. Um, so, so the first thing I noticed when I took him off the horse, he is definitely bow legged. <laughs> he is definitely bow legged. Um, for posing off the horse, yeah, you're you're really not gonna you're not really gonna get away from it. He is severely uh, bow legged. Um, yeah, I'm sure you can put some heat to it, straighten the legs up, but I mean it's it's right down through the calves and everything, which makes sense because it's a horse and it is what it is. Um, He's probably going to be better anyway to pose him on the horse. Um, yeah, if you have an extra gunslinger figure that's straight-legged, you could put that one with the horse if you're not having him on the horse. Um, but uh, the detail, really, really cool. Lots of detail, lots of stuff going on with it. we got some spikes on his forearm armor, on his biceps. Uh, the jacket is is already bent so uh when it gets on the the saddle uh which i still think it may prevent it uh, based on what i saw looking at it in the box from fully sitting in the saddle but again that's okay we got a a scabbard on his back for the rifle i do believe yeah so we got the uh the rifle right there Got a nice little belt system going on with his uh, bullets here. Get his pistols. We'll go ahead and put those in the holster, see how they fit before we look at articulation. There we go. Get this other one in. Uh, there's actually a hole in the bottom of the holster. So uh, that allows the pistol to come through. I just can't get over how bow-legged he is. <laughs> He's so bow-legged. So, so bow-legged. That one actually... Okay, I think that's in there all the way. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I just I just can't get over that. Uh, as far as uh, articulation goes, I like his coat. Um, I may have to do a little tweaking on mine because I like this flap that comes over. This one's coming over the other way. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but I may try to do it the other way like this one but uh head articulation back not so much down is great arms <laughs> wow i am really i don't know man maybe it's just me but it, it didn't break it just popped out <laughs> so you witnessed it. Uh, let's see, elbows. Let's check this arm here. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, good elbow articulation. There is a bicep swivel. Abs. And, hey, looking up is really good. Forward's not too bad. I'm curious with the uh, holsters and stuff and the jacket, how the, the hips are going to do. Um, yeah, right there. Not too shabby. He has a lower thigh rotation. A little bit of an upper. And has great knee articulation. Double jointed. Man, these little spikes, even though they're plastic, they're sharp little boogers. Toe pivot. Ankles is not too bad. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Bow-legged gunslinger right there. I wonder how he... If you put him in like a wide stance, he, he doesn't look bad. Like if you put him in a stance like this, it's not too bad. But anyway, guys, that's it for uh, the gunslinger figure. Let's take a closer look at the horse. All right. First and foremost, this horse has got some weight to it. Um... This is really, really a nice uh, horse. Uh, 
I mean, look at the saddle detail on this. That is just amazing how the saddle looks. Got a bedroll. We got the saddle bags. Um, nice little skull detail right there. Um, the one, the one thing I'm noticing right now, I'm not a big fan of this on the bottom of the stirrups. Um, I don't know. It's, uh, sort of not doing it for me. I wish that would have been a little bit of a detail right there would have, would have been cool. Um, but again, you know me, I nitpick. Um, I will say this, the saddle and everything is not authentic to how a saddle fits on a horse. Cause there is zero straps. <laughs> there is none holding this saddle on. I think that would have been a really cool choice to have at least one uh, coming underneath the belly. But again, I'm nit I'm nitpicking. You guys know me. Uh, but the head sculpt on the horse looks really good. Articulation on the horse. Um, I mean, head goes all the way down. You do get a gap right here with the head uh, all the way down and up on top. Uh, when it's up like this, it's not bad at all. Head itself, uh, not really much going on with that other than up and down. Uh, his tail turns <laughs> and I almost thought it moved, but it, it doesn't. But it does, uh, <laughs> it, it does wave. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. Um, articulation wise, um, I mean, look at that. I mean, that's that's really cool. That's about as far forward as the legs will go, but you can definitely, uh, will that go forward? Nope. Wow, that's really tight. Oh, I gotta be careful. That may be as far forward as they go. Uh, it looks like it might go a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. It is really tight, so be careful. Uh, be careful with this, but uh, we got some good knee, uh, ankle. So you could definitely uh, you could definitely create a really cool pose. The head itself, oh, it does turn. Okay, okay, the strap was in the way, so the head does does rotate. There we go. So that way, if you're doing a like that you can definitely come up with something really cool his tail goes upside down white tail buck right there <laughs> uh but yeah this is really really a nice a nice figure um i'm not 100 percent sure why the saddlebags are off center maybe just by design uh the one thing i wish it had um if you ever watched the movie Jonah Hex, he had some, uh, there's a scene where he's got two of these on a horse. That would be really cool if there was a way um, to hook that on. But uh, yeah, I dig it. Um, bridle, all that looks great. This is actually uh, almost feels like um, cordage, but. Uh, it's definitely uh, plastic, but it's very, very uh, supple, so it's not stiff at all. But there we go, guys. There's uh, there's the horse right there. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to get it posed up. We'll come back, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this awesome horse and bow-legged gunslinger. See you in a bit. All right, guys. There he is, gunslinger spawn on his horse. And uh, I still got to get used to the legs. The front ones, I got to figure, I've never had a horse before. So uh, I need to work on posing when it comes to a horse. Um, but as you can see, it's a great looking figure. Um, the little stirrup came out of his foot right there. Um, detail wise, McFarlane knocked it out of the park tons of detail on this everything on this looks amazing uh color articulation detail the figure the horse all of it is a 10 out of 10 in my book um the only negative that i have is has to do with the figure and the horse all right so the figure does not sit completely on the horse 
he's a little he's a little high in the saddle right there. I may be able to, uh, to to arrange it a little bit. I don't know. The coat right here is definitely going to put pressure, which keeps him from going all the way down. Um, parts of me, if that had been a soft good, I think uh, Gunslinger Spawn would have sat in the saddle really, really good. Uh, but again, other than that and him being so severely bow-legged, and the bow-legged is just because I think that's the only way you'd actually get a figure to sit properly on a horse. Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> but I think it's cool. Um, the other thing is, and it may be just me, okay, the horse looks a little small for the figure, just a little, like right there. If you look at it from the profile, and I think, because he's standing up probably a good, almost half an inch above the saddle. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to play with a little bit more. Because until I can actually get it all the way down on the saddle, I don't think you'll ever be able to really truthfully see how it scales. Um, but we shall see. Um, I'm actually waiting on it to fall over because the front legs are going this way and the back legs are going that way. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, another thing about it is the coat itself. Uh, I need to play around with it to see if I can get it to, I may get my heat gun out and do some heating on it because it really hides the bedroll, the saddlebags, all of that stuff, which to me, it's too nice to hide. But uh, yeah, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Um, but, you know, it's cool. It's really cool. And like I said, I do have a thought in my head for this. And, uh, yeah, we may make that some bonus footage because this is all about gunslinger spawn and the horse. So, uh, yeah, I may just do a little thing at the end to show you my ideal. But anyway, guys, that's it for this unboxing and review. If you have picked this up, you let me know what you think. Is my observations on, on, on point or are they way out of line? You let me know. Uh, again, anytime I do an unboxing and review, I try to be as open and honest as I can because there's no such thing as per a perfect toy or a perfect action figure. There's always going to be something. But this one here is rock solid. It's a rock solid two-pack. Um, if you need a horse, I mean, I don't know with the saddle and everything. Probably won't be able to do it with Mythic Legions, but hey. You may be able to modify it. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got a horse now. I'm a horse owner. I'm officially a horse owner. Uh, but, yeah, you let me know in the comments what you thought about the video. Uh, also, if this is your first time to my videos or my channel, if you enjoy my content, please do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, here's the thing. Make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos, when I do live streams, and anything else. Uh, also, read the description in all my videos because I put information there. You know, I don't want you to miss nothing. All my social media links is there. So reach out to me on social media on the interwebs. And finally, as Gunslinger comes back around, please always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time. Alright guys, here it is. I promised you, this is originally what I thought about when I saw the horse. Um, <laughs> put a trooper on a horse. As you can see though, he's definitely too short for the horse, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just had to do it. Um, personally, I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, the concept that is, like I said, the stirrups—they're too—they're uh, too low. 
but the figure itself, like I could see maybe taking some photos of, you know, him up on a saddle and stuff, but, um, yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys know me. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know, I love to mash things up and, uh, yeah, there you go. That's a mashup right there. Clone Trooper in the Wild Wild West. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think about this, and uh, I'll talk to you later.